Hello everyone, I decided to record a quick video here in order to answer Kristen's question. Basically what Kristen is asking is this, how do you calculate this right here, or rather how do you calculate this right here, to the power of 20, the 20th exponent here for this particular number. During the exam you will have the calculator available. I have uh, Windows 10 here on my machine. I do not know what Windows environment you will see at the Prometric Testing Center where you will take it but there will be a button that says please bring up the calculator and when you do that you will just like I see here see the standard Windows calculator only allows you to do the power of two, so two times two, four times uh, four times four, five times five, etc. Uh, but you need to be able to say, "I want this to the power of 20." So you need to switch over to the scientific calculator right here, and now you have the option to put in the exponent right here by using the X with the exponent symbol right there. So what we want to calculate is, I'm going to calculate this from the right to the left here. Uh, we want to calculate. 1.035 to the power of 20. So I, you know, during the exam, maybe add this up right now for this video. It's relatively simple. 1.035. Did I type that in right? Yes, it's 1.035 to the power of 20. So hit this right here and now put in. 20 and as you can see it puts this symbol right there as well so that equals uh, this number right here and then we need to multiply this by 200,000 uh, right there multiply this by 200 1 2 3 and one thing you will notice uh, pretty much right away is that uh, the number isn't the same as Kristen put here 397597 and I have 397 Nine five seven. That's because Kristen uh, transposed the two numbers here. I, I actually went online to a future value calculator on another website, calculated this through there as well. So this is just because the number is transposed. But the big question really here was, how do you calculate to the power of simply by switching over to the scientific calculator and then using this function right here? And that's it. Thank you very much. And of course, as always, until next time.